Number 152 in the indicator range, Who, starring Elliot Gould from 1974. This is a wonderful story, a really mysterious, really kind of etched in Cold War spy kind of things that I really love. Um, and it's really well edited and directed, which was a real surprise. It's a movie that didn't have a really great reputation, so I was a little bit caged and guarded going into it, but I instantly just loved this thing. You get um, this professor, Dr. Lucas, who is in an accident at the start. We never see him. Um, we know that he's been in uh, the Soviet States for um, six months, they fixed him, he was severely damaged in this car crash, they brought him back from the death and fixed him up. And now we jump to um, our Elliot Good character, Sean Rogers, who is there for the handover. The Russians are handing back this scientist and he is a main player in a large government project that's going ahead called Neptune. The problem is, is he's been away for six months and when they get him back, he looks like a robot. He's encased in metal. His skin and, and body was so severely damaged they had to fix him as best they can. And now the problem becomes, is this character actually Lucas Martino? Or is he not? Has he been substituted by a duplicate because they can't see the face? Um, have he been replaced? Or have they turned him into a spy? And for the rest of the movie, we have Elliot Gould, Sean character, interviewing Lucas as we get glimpses of his backstory to try and discover if he is who he said he is or is he a Russian spy and it's really playful and one of the things that I just utterly loved about this was the editing because you have lots of interview sequences where you have uh, Gold's character talking to Dr Lucas and it's intercut really well with the similar count counterpart in the Russian uh, army played by Trevor Howard who is also interviewing Lucas or maybe giving him all the information to answer these questions. So as he gets asked a question it will cut to Russia to uh, General Azen giving the information to Lucas and then we jump back uh, to Elliot Gould's character and it's, it's intercut that way that's really playful and you're never quite sure what's going on. You, you kind of know Gold's looking for the information but you don't know if he's been swapped out or if he's been reprogrammed or anything like that. But along with all that, you get an idea of this character and it's really well done because you never see the face of the character but you get a backstory of him. You get to see his life, how he grew up, the friends he made, the lovers he had and how he got to the position he was in. The makeup is a little bit wacky. But you soon forget about that and it just becomes part of the mystery of this one. And it's a movie that doesn't really leave you hanging with answers. It tells you everything you need to know right at the end of it. Um, and that's a little bit unusual. These things that usually leave you in a cliffhanger of, you know, you still don't fully know. But this one quite clearly gives you the answers. And it's surprising where it goes. I kind of love this low-key movie because it's only really a few actors, several locations. It seems almost low budget, but it's incredibly inventive and incredibly well put together, which is the thing I appreciated most about this movie. I don't think it completely works, but I think there's a lot to admire in here. It's a real oddity, a real curiosity that I had a lot of fun spending time with, spending time with the characters, trying to unravel the mysteries myself eh, and flip-flopping from uh, believing it was a character to believing it was a duplicate or a spy or he'd been turned or something like that. There's lots going on to give that kind of mood and just really just a, a great deal of fun with some good uh, action set pieces or a couple of car chases at an airport which are good. Uh, who I would recommend. I think it's one of those 70s movies that um, could easily be bypassed but it's incredibly fun. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on who. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.